Hey guys, before we dive into this video, I wanted to say thank you so much to all of you guys who have been liking my videos and subscribing. So before we dive into this video, I wanted to say that when I hit 50 subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway. So feel free to share my page, tell your friends to like it. it even if it's tomorrow, then that means the giveaway is going to start. So we'll do a giveaway at 50 subscribers and 100. So um, yeah, so stay tuned. Um, if you want to watch my video, keep on watching. Sorry, it's been a really long day. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. It's Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm so glad to have all of you guys here. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for all types of videos. Um, <laughs> so today, I'm going to do something. Um, so I don't know if anybody's like me, but sometimes I fall asleep with YouTube on my actual TV and then it automatically just starts playing videos. So I automatically started playing these videos like of people contouring and highlighting before they did their foundation. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting over a <coughs> But I saw it and I thought it was really interesting so I was kind of looking more into it. Now unfortunately I'm not logged into my YouTube on my TV so I don't know like who whose initial like YouTube video it was but what I noticed on a lot of them is they're like, okay, well, I haven't really tried this product before, but we're going to try it for this video. And then sometimes it wouldn't work. So what I was thinking of doing for my video is trying products that I know for a fact work together and see if it works, and then we'll have a better idea. Um, so the products, we'll get in, dive into the products and everything. But, you know, usually I don't really like cream contour because I feel like it's too harsh. So maybe this will make me love cream contour even more. So the contour kit, I have all my stuff over here, so it's like, whoop, is this Cover FX one. Um, and I actually really like it, like I've used everything in it. Um, like I've used the cream contour, you just have to like blend the heck out of it. <laughs> and then there's like, like that's for highlighting and that's for like shimmer highlighting and then these are contour colors and this one's for more intense, less intense and of course I got the light one so the back actually has the shade names um, so you can get them individually um, <laughs> so I thought that that was pretty cool so this is what I'm going to be using today but of course I did my eye makeup, nothing crazy um, I actually like always do my face makeup first even though most of, a lot of my friends like do their eyebrows and eyes and then their face so this is gonna be like really weird for me um but I forgot you're supposed to do your eyebrows first so when I did my eye makeup then I went to do my eyebrows and I put the shape tape and I'm like oh shit it's just gonna it was a fail on my part but it still looks okay I wasn't doing anything crazy because of course this is what we're focused on <laughs> so to start off we are going to use Dermalogica Hydra Blur primer and it's like a little sample I got at Ulta um it's like $50 and um I found out that there's like a lot of things that can clog your pores in it but I know for a fact it works so we'll just go in with this today and I love the way that it looks when I put it on and I obviously I've washed my face and everything I do that every morning when I get up Every morning, every night. I'll usually like, get my kids like to bed breakfast. And you know, I can breakfast at like 6.50, 7 o'clock in the morning. So after they eat breakfast and everything, especially if it's like a school day for my daughter, um, then I'll wash my face. So and this primer works, like it blurs out my obviously my skin. It's starting to get a little bit better, but um, yeah, like it. Just from there, even my not so good video quality, it really works. So I'm thinking about spending $50 on it. Not that I need to, but I actually have a lot of primers that I'll be using them all on this channel. So it <laughs> gives me a reason to switch out my routine. So the first thing that they do is contour so and highlight. So I'm probably going to, I usually highlight first. So Oddly enough, I've never used this as a highlight. I used it when I did a cut crease. Um, so the brush I'll be using is one I used to use when I did do a lot of 
cream contouring, but I was doing it with like an overkit. So this is my Luxie 211 concealer brush. Um, so we'll just be doing a contour, and it's been a while since I've contoured, so. Um, and this will be my first time, I guess, contouring completely with this kit. Um, so, let's get into that, and if my contour is not perfect, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm still learning. The only thing I don't like about doing my eye makeup first is I feel like I'm gonna hit the mascara. Um, which of course like I guess this is a learning Um And so I noticed that none of them really blended it. That's why I was thinking if I use an actual contour kit. Maybe this is how you're supposed to use the cream contour kits? I don't know. And I don't have my son with me right now because my mom is watching him. Shout out to my mom for that. I just felt bad when he's like bored, you know? I love that little boy to death. And of course like my thing is I'm like excited, but it's okay. And then, Mm -hmm. Whew. Okay, so before I do the rest of my highlight, I want to add. Mm. No, okay. So, well, I'm going to add more, but I'm going to actually. Now, this is tricky for me because I do not contour my nose. I have a big nose, as you can see. I hate my nose with a passion. So I'm going to kind of at least even it out because I don't see how it makes sense to not at least like to have it all bunched up. That's just the part that doesn't make sense to me. So for the contour, at least for like cheekbones that are here, I'm going to be using the JS3 Morphe brush and I'm going to go into shade 4 because since we're going to be covering it up, might as well make it intense, right? Because there's going to be foundation over it. So, you know, let's see if it works. I'm kind of nervous about this. people are not excited but like that black one to put over another color come on that is awesome um so i'm gonna take a different brush for my nose because i don't want to be like all crazy and this is i don't the brand kind of rubbed off but i got it into a boxy charm and i'm gonna dip into that other color that same intense color and kind of insecurity so okay so now that I did that I'm gonna go back into the first shade and kind of and of course you don't want to use the shimmer shade not that I'm like some expert but no that does not belong and then I'm gonna go back into number four and kinda. All right, so I'm gonna kinda, cause it bothers me that it's, it's like it's all bunched up, so.
<laughs> now I see sometimes people like contour like all over their face. I just don't. Um, it's not my thing. Like I'm not gonna just fill in the blanks. You know, I'm not gonna get all crazy. So this is okay. And of course, if you end up purchasing this, just so you know, when you open it up, it has a little guide for you. But this personally doesn't really work for me um, because the nose part. But the rest is cool, but I do have a big forehead. I can't for that. So here's the fun part. I'm going to go into foundation, and of course, I'm going to use the Cover FX Natural finished oil-free foundation um, and we're going to put on some foundation over our contour. I'm kind of scared. So since I'm kind of like, I'm going to do a little bit and like, So, so far, I like it. Okay. Keep going. Now, if I was going to do this off camera, I would probably not have my eye makeup on because I'm just super clumsy like that. But besides that, it does not look bad. It actually looks good, except for like under here, but I'm gonna fix that. All right, let's keep going. At least the contour part looks pretty bomb. I'm like, So, of course, I'm going to try this like other sponge to try to blend underneath my eyes. Now, what's irritating me about my skin, of course, is that there's dry patches because of the state my skin's in. But, other than the state that my skin is in, it looks really good. Like. Usually I contour and I'm like, oh, and then I blend it and I blend it so much that it's gone, but it's still there. It's really subtle. I think if I was going to do this again, I would skip the highlight part, um, at least underneath my eyes. Um, but right now I'm not really liking to put anything underneath my eyes. Now, um, so what I'm going to do now, um, I'm kind of so excited my eyebrows and stuff because I'm like kind of like limited on like where I can blend up. But okay, so then I was seeing on there that they would still bake and then add bronzer. So I'm first gonna bake a little bit with the Jeffree Star setting powder first.
just gonna bake over here. And then while I'm baking that, I'm going to put bronzer on just to like over where I did the contour. I'm not gonna mess with my nose though um, because like I said, this is probably the first time I contoured my nose and not felt ugly. It's crazy, so I don't wanna ruin it. Um, so I'm going to take my e.l.f. bronzing brush and I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. bronzer in warm tan. Um, very lightly. Like I'm barely Now I'm going to take the JS2 brush and I'm not like doing hard for me, you know, I'm just seeing if it works. Dust it all away. And we'll finish this look, of course. Nothing really like crazy that I have to do. Whoa, well, there's a setting spray. Um, I'm gonna try to use the highlighter in here, but I'm super picky with highlighters, so I have a backup. Oh, why does it look weird on camera? Okay. The lighting in here is just weird, but you know. There'll be a outside picture that you guys seen before. Um, I'm not tripping, I swear. Um, so then, to finish off this look, first we're gonna try this. It's the second shade, and it's actually called Moonlight. So we'll see how we go. Let me just use my finger. the Jeffree Star highlighting brush and take Platinum Ice palette and use, I'm just going to go in with Ice Cold, like one of my favorites always, I can when I bought the big version, um, there we go, now that's the highlighter I like to have, but now I'm like addicted to a spray frost, so what are you going to do? And to finish off this look, before we do setting spray, I'm going to use this Anastasia lip gloss in the train. The train. The train. Not good at reading stuff sometimes. It's really I love these lip glosses. They are so sparkly. And they smell good. And everybody was talking about how Jeffree Star Highlighter is really like something. Um, when I look up close to this, it looks similar to the up close pictures of some of his, like with all the glitter. It's hard to take pictures of lip gloss, but that's just my opinion. So now we'll go in with my Lancome Fix It Forget It spray. Some videos that they say it does not work. Yes, it does work. You just need to use the right products. I probably wouldn't recommend using shape tape um, to do this type of thing. I would probably 
recommend using some type of cream contour kit like this cover effects one um <laughs> to do this type of thing you always want to make sure that the products work well together um before trying something like this and it's not super crazy but contour is not supposed to be super crazy it's supposed to be natural and change the way that your face looks you know like if you want a smaller nose make your nose small you want a smaller head and not a big forehead you contour it that's what it's meant for so in my opinion yes this works um have you know comment down below if what products that you've used that have worked with this um, I really want to know because I, I want to try some more products and like see if there's like a better contour kit. Like I need to try the Anastasia one really bad. But <clears throat> that's it you guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, like I said, if you guys could give me a subscribe and a thumbs up, that would be awesome. Um, at the end of this video, it's going to show you links to my two previous videos. If you could be amazing and... Um, Go to my blue blood video and vote for which Jeffree Star palette for me to use next. Right now it's at a tie um, and I do need to pick one. Right now it's a tie between Beauty Killer and Thirsty. I love both palettes so I cannot choose. It's up to you guys, the viewers. Um, and I also wanted to announce that when I hit 100 subscribers, um, I am going to do a giveaway and I'll give you a hint at what the prize will be. Be a Jeffree Star product. Well, one of the things will be a Jeffree Star product, um, and it would be super easy to enter. So, <laughs> share this video, share my page. Once we get to a, you know what? No, let's make it 50. You guys want to get some free makeup now? Let's make it 50. Once I get to 50 subscribers, we'll do our first giveaway. 100 subscribers, we'll do our next. Do our next giveaway. So. That's all for right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.